up everybody, Noble Elite here, and welcome back to another episode of Q&A Monday. Today we're going to be talking about some AKs and what weight you should be putting in your gun. So, uh, first off for the updates on the channel, I went to Cedar Creek last weekend and sadly, um, every other airsoft field in the area was having their Halloween specials, so everyone got sucked out into the other ones and sadly I couldn't get a enough for a video in this weekend but possibly next weekend a lot of you out there are local to um, Cedar Creek area so this weekend they're having Scaresoft so if you show up there in your Halloween costume then you get to play for free so guys definitely make sure if you're not cram packed with plans on Saturday from I think it's 10 to 5 Make sure to come on out because that'll just be a blast with everyone there in their uh, Halloween outfits. Uh, disclaimer for that. You cannot come in, dressed as an army man or anything in the military. We found the loop, guys. You can't do that. You gotta dress up as something else. But, uh, anyways, I'm looking over here at my questions. Today, our questions are coming from the Rock Hem, and he gave us a couple questions, and I thought they were really good ones. First off, we're going to be talking about an AK that um, might actually be kind of new to the market here. Let me uh, see right here. Uh, this might have come out in one of their new lines. I'm not exactly sure, but it is the CM040C. And his question about that was, what do you think of the CM040C? That's a mouthful for a budget gun. So guys, when it comes to CYMA's AKs right here in back of me, they are quality, uh, especially for that price. Um, the main good things about them is they have really good FPS and amazing hop-up systems. Like you turn that thing a little bit, um, it'll send a point two into the sky. So their hop-ups are really good. Uh, one bad thing about their AKs though, the rate of fire is very slow, unless you get a lipo for it. Um, I haven't looked at this gun enough to consider it lipo ready or not, but uh, this thing will definitely take a 9.6, no problem. So, uh, yes, for a budget gun, absolutely. Um, the FPS, however, uh, for the next question, this kind of ties in, he says, what BB weight do you recommend for a 420 to 430 FPS gun? Of course, that's chrono with the point two. So, as you can see behind me, we've got all different weights of BBs here. And uh, there is actually a trick to figuring out what BB you should put in your gun. And I actually made a video on this, um, but I'm looking at the chart right now that I made. I will flash that up on the screen right now for you guys. So on that chart right there, uh, you can basically see all of your different weights of BBs and what uh, FPS it should go into. A 400 to 450 FPS gun, your BB weight should be at a 0.28 gram or a 0.3 gram. Uh, 0.28 is going to get you the better FPS, the 0.3 is going to get you a better accuracy, it's just whatever you, your preference is. Um, Chrono-wise, the .28 from a .2 is going to drop your FPS ooh, 50, 50 to 75 FPS. You're going to have your FPS drop by, so it's probably going to be shooting around 375 to 350. Um, but of course, you're going to get amazing accuracy, and with the CYMA hop-up, uh, getting that BB to your target will be no problem. So the last question here, guys, and this is a really good one, and I didn't even know about this. He says, have you ever tried Just Airsoft Ammo? And that's the name of a website. He said, I found one kilogram of Golden Ball Bios um, in any weight for 10 to $11. So, you guys, I didn't even know about this website, but it's called Just Airsoft Ammo. You go on there, they don't charge shipping, um, and... Their prices are incredibly low, and in fact, I just put a uh, BB order into Airsoft Megastore, and I actually emailed them asking if I could cancel that order so I could order something off this site, because uh, their prices are awesome. So if you guys are looking for some BBs, go try out Airsoft Ammo. 
But uh, that's it for the questions today, guys. Of course, if you always have questions that you want answered, uh, you can leave them down in the comment section, and I will get them answered, and I will get them answered correctly. So, that, like I said, that's it for me today, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, thumbs up button down there. It takes a millisecond to do. But, uh, yeah, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Goodbye.